Hey, Richard here with Facts for Working People. I wanted to make a, a few comments, uh, just was thinking about this, about the class question again. And um, I know that uh, I do go on about that a little bit, but the problem is, is that it's so important. And in this country, it's so, there's every effort to obscure it, not just to obscure it, to even deny it. And um, uh, so we can identify as any, I'm gay, I'm not gay, I'm, I'm, I'm black, I'm Catholic, I'm Protestant, I'm binary, non-binary. And there's so many identities that are put forward as crucial to, um, to uh, d describe people and to, when you talk about people. And um, I know I trivialize, tri I, I trivialize that issue sometimes, and I probably more than I should. But the main th the part of it is the frustration at the... Uh, uh, the uh, um, obscurance or the uh, the um, non-existence of the class question in U.S. society in particular, because that's the key. And you know, a part of me, what makes me think about this is the issue, the issue of racism. You'll always hear how, well, um, I like I'm a blue collar worker. I identify. That's my milieu. I call it. It's not the only people I hang out with. I hang out with different people and people from different class backgrounds. But but uh, but. Um, but how I feel about myself and my history and the history of the world is from that perspective. And um, uh, that I identify as a working class guy. In particular, I learn, uh, identify as a blue collar worker. Now, that's a little easier for me here because I have an in English accent. There, and there is a, um, there is a, clearly this idea that if you have an English accent, you're smarter. I can escape if I wished to escape it, the, 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 that class question. Uh, uh, that I'm just a blue collar guy or whatever. It, it's a little easier, that, but because of the imagery of, of what it means to come, to have an English accent, to be white, to have an English accent and come from England, um, with a few exceptions like the Irish nationalists or whatever. Uh, uh, but but um, uh, so the thing is for me is, is that to, uh, if you take the race question, the the, dis the discussion of race, people will say, well, you know, the whites just, uh, it's hard to get them to talk about it. They're bothered by it and so on and so forth. Well, it is bothersome to talk about any subject that there is contention about in society. Um, but the thing is, the biggest problem of why white workers, uh, working class people, and particularly blue collar workers, won't discuss it, it depends how it's raised and who's raising it. And overwhelmingly the issue in this country, uh, when they want, firstly, the ruling class, remember when uh, Starbucks shut the, all of the stores down because um, they wanted to uh, have a race training, training about adversity and all of that stuff because of those two guys, they called the cops on the two guys uh, that were sitting down, two black guys. So they shut the whole stores down. Now, if racism was such a, uh, so supported, was so strong in American society, in US society, they wouldn't have shut their stores down all day. OK, the, the other side of it is, of course, they're not going to talk about racism in a way that, that, that helps to unite all workers. They do not want to unite all workers. So it will always be used in this country, uh, 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 particularly the black white question will always be used. Or the color question always be used to uh, to undermine workers unity in one way or another. They will not let it go. Malcolm X said you can't have capitalism without racism and they will not let that go. They'll put it on the back burner. They'll, 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 they don't want it out in open warfare in the streets because workers learn through struggle as well. It's also very expensive, but they won't let that go. And so they're not going to teach it right. And if you take uh, a lot of workers, I, I, I've said myself in, in articles on the blog and also uh, in, this, in this format, you know, work, white workers have to speak up. You have to speak up. You don't have to be some revolutionary figure. I mean, the white workers I've worked with for 30 years here, I work, I'm blue collar, I worked in the streets, I was a laborer when I started. Uh, that's basically what I've always considered myself. The, 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 the best, uh, most technically skilled I became was an equipment operator, and I only operated pretty much one or two pieces of equipment, one most of the time. And it's not the highly, it's not like a brain surgeon. However, in the, in the uh, for an operator like in the operating engineers, uh, uh, and operators that operate, operate multiple equi equipment, it's, it's highly skilled and they can do amazing things with those pieces of equipment. Um, not that I wasn't good at my limited, uh, my limited sphere of it. Um, but so the thing is, is that when, when it's discussed, 
uh, uh, what are the, who's discussing it and who's bringing it up? Well, it's generally it's people from another class. But we, we don't say that here. It's generally, uh, and it's not just about money. That's the whole thing. Is, the issue here uh, it, it, it is always about money. If you earn more money, you're, you're middle class. In, in, the, in the technical sense, that's not what class is about. It's about your role, your social role in production, your education that goes along with that, your connections that go along with that, and so on. And so generally when this issue is brought up, it's brought up. It's not so much black folks, even the black, the black petty bourgeois or middle class are going to do it, but the worst are the white ones. Because that section of society, with white middle class, and when I say that, I could be earning more money than them. I, I had a fairly decent bloody job uh, earning good money, a lot, a lot more than a lot of small business people like a liquor store owner or something like that, or, 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 or professional people. Many professional people, white collar people and educated people. But when I'm talking about this middle class, I'm talking about those people who are educated, been to university, have the connections that the middle class bring, have live in that milieu and have that, that uh, consciousness, that view of the world uh, uh, that we're taught uh, in this country. They even tell us where I'm supposed to be working a middle class. I'm not middle class, I'm working class. That it's as if there's no workers here. It's this massive... Um, a uh, powerful media uh, education system, the universities, universities and everything. The universities are not the best places for revolutionary milieu. They're capitalist institutions that churn out people to make capitalism work in the main. That doesn't mean that there have not been great heroic figures from that class, from uh, academia, PhDs, Marx, right? Che, uh, che Guevara was a great revolutionary. He was a doctor's kid, right? So... But, in, but Marx didn't say PhDs of the world unite. There's a reason the workers were, were so, uh, uh, are so important, because we control production if we don't work, and production is key. And so workers always have to be divided. They, all, they will never let racism go on that question. So the problem is uh, it, uh, uh, why a lot of white workers don't raise it or won't discuss it or don't speak out is twofold, really. One of them, a lot of them feel uncomfortable and don't feel that they can, a blue-collar worker like me, uh, uh, they don't feel that they can um, uh, defend the question, so they get defensive. My parents didn't own slaves. I didn't do this. I haven't done that to anybody. The, the school system's pathetic, to be quite honest with you. It's worse here than it ever was in England when I was growing up. Uh, the school system is pathetic. So they, they, they don't feel confident when it's coming from the snobby, goddamn petty bourgeoisie. They don't feel confident on the one hand. And all these other, what these white liberal uh, 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 people do who say it should be discussed. Look at that bloody uh, thing I wrote about that book, uh, white, white Fragility. It's just nauseating nonsense. But if it's, if it's discussed correctly, if it's raised correctly, black workers, white workers, all sorts of different workers, within the framework of trying to overcome that division, racial division or religious division, which harms our self-interest, if it's discussed among ourselves in that way, then it's not a problem. It will, any, any contentious issue, there's going to be some tension, but that's different. But the biggest problem is you've got the, the, the white middle class and upper middle class telling the white work, it's your fault, it's your turn to be poor, you ignoramus, you know. Uh, uh, and, and what it does is they can turn to the black media, to the black population, to their own class allies in the, and competitors within the uh, black petty bourgeois, they can tell them, look at us, I'm not a racist. See that dumb white worker there, you see? And so if you look at, uh, uh, it frustrates the hell out of me on television. When you, how are, how are construction workers, which is what I've spent most of my life in, how are we portrayed? We're normally fat, not there's anything wrong with that. We're normally fat, belly hanging over a jackhammer, drinking beer, ignorant and stupid. When do you ever see a movie or a sitcom about you know, a guy who's a truck driver and his wife, or whatever, or two partners, I don't want to leave anything out here, you get bombarded, but, but uh, 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 who, who works in an office, and we're normal, and we discuss issues, and we're concerned about what's going on around the world, and that we're sensual, and that, and, and, and that we love, and all of those things. It's always ridicule. Look at it. It's always the same. I remember the Fraser one, where the guy was a garbage collector. And she went out with a garbage collector once who Ros did, and she didn't want to say what he did, you know. Every, there's class oppression is massive. And within it, 
uh, 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 that film, what was it? Jack Nicholson and, and, and Woody Allen's muse. Uh, I forget her name now. Uh, Something's Gotta Give. I like that film. It was about older people that had sex and made love. And, uh, but what, what did they do? He was some millionaire businessman. She's a playwright. They cannot have a damn... They, and they won't show about ordinary working class people. Watch foreign films. It's much more so. You'll get films about ordinary working class people. So the question to me, and when I was at work, we had, we had discussions about racism. If, if you're in the workplace, on the job, and it has to happen there, it's not like the university where they'll talk for hours and never get nothing done. Um, I, don't mean to, I, I, I don't mean to, they'll yap on forever though. Uh, it's, it's a freer to have ideas, to, to discuss ideas. It's encouraged to a certain extent. The workers different. They don't want that because they know the workers have the power if they overcome these divisions. They know it. The bosses know it. Look at the class solidarity with Obama and the Bushes and them. You, they hate each other. You think, you think they like each other? You think she really likes George Bush? She has class solidarity with George Bush, Michelle Obama. They know how important it is. And we have to recognize that. So the issue is for me is that it's not so much that white workers won't discuss it. It is a difficult thing, but it has to be organized. It has to be done between ourselves and, um, and uh, 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 all of this, you know, hang your privilege at the door and blaming and blah 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 which is what the middle class guilty white middle class do the black middle class do it for a slightly different reason they're in competition with the white middle class to get up in that pecking order but they're much weaker than them they don't have the connections to the white ruling class the racist white ruling class they don't they they, they the black petty bourgeois black capitalism had no access to capital for two three hundred years all of those reasons i don't want to go on too much uh, and I just got this, I get, some, I get a bug up my butt, if you like. Uh, I worked for 30 years with a lot of white guys and a lot of black guys and Asian guys. I'm in California. It might be different in Kentucky and, 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 and the South, I accept that. But, but most people just wanted, a, wanted to, um, to they're paying the rent, paying the mortgage and so forth. And people, uh, this just is the way it is. If there's no organization, no leadership, it's, it's better happening to somebody else. And yet in my union... We, which was, uh, there were votes taken uh, uh, defending uh, 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 the black, black workers against the cops, defending the guys that, the, the, the rights of the guys uh, 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 that beat up the truck driver down in LA after the Rodney King thing. Uh, and, um, uh, and so we can, we will speak up, uh, 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 and the white worker will speak up under the right conditions, not when it comes from the liberal privileged, middle class, sm smarter than you, snob types. That's just the reality of it. Um, God, God, it just bugged me because of a little experience I had. But anyway, these are some of my thoughts on this issue. I'm going to have a listen to it uh, uh, and see if I can stomach putting it up. And if I can, because I believe this, we, we can't change society. We can't overthrow this madness, this system of production we call capitalism. The Pope will even call it capitalism. Do you think the Labour leaders will ever call it capitalism? He's to the left of them on that issue. As most people, are to, even many Democrats are to the left of them on, on, on a lot of issues. But we cannot change society with racism. In Northern Ireland, you can't change it with religious sec without dealing with religious sectarianism. And the, the ruling class will never solve these questions. They will always try to divide us. In, in India, Modi, he's attacking the Muslims, okay? So, uh, 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 anyway, I'll, I'm rambling now. So that's it for today. Got something off my chest. And I hope it, it makes some sense. And, you know, you can write to us. We know what we, uh, we underscore, no underscore, what's underscore up at yahoo.com. I'm glad he just started now. It's done. Facts for working people. Check us out.